Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kooky, crazy kids in love. We love doing some trailer reactions together. Yes, we do. And this is our seventh place winner in our mm -hmm. winter request fest. And it's a triple trailer Tuesday. Ooh, ow! <laughs> Uh, so we are reacting to all Mirror's Edge 2008 trailers today. Mm -hmm. Get motion sick. Nice move. There's a lot of red in this game. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Cool. Oh, fun. Jump. Why are you guys trying to shoot her? Yes. Because they're bad. His stunts are really cool. So I guess is everything red is the stuff you can interact with probably? Oof. That was a cool transition. Yeah. Yeah, Next I mean place. it seems to be like that's Yeah. It's pretty cool eye makeup. Mm-hmm. Like an eye tattoo, I guess. Yeah. Kinda reminds me of uh, Domino. That board. Next mm. voice. Okay, okay here, here we go. go. <laughs> Okay. Oh, cool. Here hmm. on the edge of the city, we cater to a need. People need to transport information without being observed. Normally, the cops leave us alone. They've got bigger fish to fry. Now, things have changed. Something is happening. They've taken my sister. 
framed her for a crime she did not commit. And now they're hunting me. But just because I don't have a weapon does not mean I can't fight back. Yeah. So now I'm coming after whoever is behind this. On the edge of the city? You find out who you really are. Cool. Mm-hmm. I was too young to remember exactly how it started. The authorities said the changes, the monitoring, banning, regulating, were for the greater good. Yeah, they always but say good that. good mm -hmm. isn't the same as right. My folks were forever lobbying the mayor's office, going on marches. They even took me and my sister Kate with them. That was until the downtown riots. Protest marches that went bad. Mom was killed, crushed in the panic. After that, my family pretty much fell apart. And gradually, people just let go. Stopped fighting. Let the city take control of their lives. They chose a comfortable life. I chose a different life. <laughs> never told me what she was after. Just a kid back then, so who knows? Food, money, hell, maybe it was just for the kicks. She threw some wild punches at first, let me put it that way. Not a big talker. We all got ghosts. But there was something about her. So, I offered to train her as a runner. Every day I expected a motion. There she was, right on time. No matter how much I pushed her, she was always there. She made plenty of mistakes, yeah. But she never quit. Not once. Which is just as well. Once you become a runner, there's no looking back. Yeah, of course I lie. Because officially runners don't exist. And that's all right. It makes it easier to get work done. What's the work? Transport. Move data, packages, legal, illegal. We don't discriminate. As long as your money's green and your rep ain't poison. From then on, you're our client. Which makes you a criminal, technically. But eight out of ten things in this city are crimes anyway. So this is where I come in. I find the work, chop it up, farm it out. The runners do it. It's a tidy arrangement. 
everyone gets paid, and no one sees a thing. Now, sure, they try, and maybe some poor slob might get a look by accident. That's all they're gonna get, trust me. No one catches a run. That's kind of the point. Watch out for snipers. Yeah, that's crazy. I thought it was just like the helicopters and stuff you need to be yeah. worried about. They wiped away all the grittiness and humanity that this city ever had. I'm going to show them that they missed a spot. Ha! <laughs> Five a day, I can. <laughs>
Whoa, what the hell? Is this how they designed the whole thing? Oh, okay. And just realized you just fall into oblivion. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so that is definitely different than, uh, uh, yeah, the, the, what did you think? Different than any other game I've ever seen before. Um, and I definitely felt the adrenaline of it just mm. between like the stunts that you're doing and the fact that people are chasing you. Um, and they did a good job when they told us a little bit more about the story, give, giving me a sense of that urgency. Like she's yeah. after her sister who's been taken. And I thought the character, I mean, we get mostly her action and very little of her as a person, but what we do get is so telling. I mean, she's a, a character of incredible strength um, and drive and love because to put herself through all of this in the hopes that she can get her sister back. I just thought it was a really unique game from from anything i've seen before and yeah i i would be down to play it i love the line that uh it was like i'm gonna butcher it a little bit i'm just gonna you know paraphrase it but um what's good is not always what's right they're doing a study you know like trying to figure out like where in the brain is like the choice mm. little uh, center basically and like you know where it lights up before someone makes a choice there's actually a part of the brain that like lights up so basically he talked about how what if you could eventually control somebody's choices so they would not make bad choices or they would only make like you know something like could you stop somebody from like you know murdering somebody else because they would never make that choice got into this kind of whole thing that's made me think of like you know controlling people and you know, for the good of society yeah you know not having murder would be great but like limiting people's control and what and their choices is obviously extremely dangerous and not something you don't want to do um but yeah, so I just thought that that, that line, uh, what's good and what's right, um, was kind of summed up to me what the what the game was about. Because they talked about, you know, how they were kind of taking their choices away from them and like, you know, and people just stopped fighting because, okay, I guess this is what's good for everybody. But. Yeah, it became a like a police state or a, yeah. um, a surveillance state. It was interesting you bringing up that study because it, you know, it makes me think of like, Minority Report, which, you know, mm -hmm. essentially Minority Report is a police state too. And they're yeah. going in and they are stopping crime before it happens based on the visions of the, the precogs. Um, but, you know, when you talk about like taking away bad choices, one, like controlling people is terrible. So we're just gonna put that out there. <laughs> but like, if we're gonna go down this rabbit hole, mm -hmm. it made me think of like, okay, but when do you determine and who would be eligible for this? Cause like, personally, I've made bad choices in my life. I'm grateful for that because they've led me here. And yep. had I not had the opportunity to make my own bad choices and screw up and learn from my mistakes, who she knows where I would be? Yeah, she wouldn't have learned to, uh, you know, make the best choice ever, which is to marry me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, but you know, I think, I think there comes. Uh, I mean, there are times when yes, you you wish you could do something differently or, or take something back, but. Also, everything that you've done wrong or that you've screwed up with is also a lesson. Mm -hmm. And it's something that can strengthen you and strengthen your character and actually make you better as a person having been through whatever that might have been. Now, that's obviously not necessarily murdering someone. That's, that's mm -hmm. a totally different ball of wax. But like, who? how do you determine who's going to grow up to be a murderer who who would get this? Like, you know, personally, I, I think that's... Crazy, which as you said, controlling people is bad, but like, I don't know. I kind of want to read that study now just cause it's like, <laughs> put me in a rabbit hole in my brain. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's exactly what it does. That's what it did to me as well. Um, the game seemed cool. It was definitely different than anything I've seen before, but I don't know if I'd be able to play it just because with all the motion and it being first person and everything like that, I think I get pretty, you know, uh, motion sick very fast. I get I'm a little sensitive towards that. 
Yeah, I do wonder, do you have the option to not be first person in this game? Because everything did really seem to be a first person mm -hmm. perspective. You'll let us know what you thought about these trailers down below in the comments. And if you played the game before, let us know what you thought about it and uh, how you liked it. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for this Triple Trailer Tuesday Woo! for all Mirror's Edge trailers, which keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.